Wow, the Color Changers line is fighting tooth and nail to keep pace with the Diecast main line in terms of getting out new variants and new characters before they do. You know, they did Baby Quadratorcasar, they did Cave McQueen before the Diecast version came out, and here we have yet another example where it looks like the Color Changer version of a car might come out before the diecast version of it. So we're going to hop right on in here with Color Changers Case R reveal. It is February 1st, which means this case is ideally scheduled for April 1st of 2023. It very well could come out before then, or it could slip a little bit late. Who knows? There is really no rhyme or reason when it comes to this stuff. But for the singles cases for the diecast this year, they have been generally ahead of schedule. So let's just hop right in. This really should not take that long as the case is similar, but not quite as good as the last case, case Q, which hasn't even come out at the time of me recording this. I'll leave the link for that in the description below and card suggestion pop up, which is a little concerning because of course that case was literally scheduled to come out today. And so let's just dive right in here with Case R. Hopefully they get moving with these color changers. I would assume, you know, any week you'll get that Case Q in stores. All right, there is one Lightning McQueen. There is one Road Trip Lightning McQueen. There is one Ghost Car. Now that is how it says it here on my documentation. Same exact thing as in the last case, which is why that last case was so special because Ghost Car, wow, that sounds so exciting. It could be any of these ghosts that we see here in Lights Out, but some have speculated that it is Randy because we know that Doug Crankle, the zombie car, was labeled in the singles diecast case as zombie car when it ended up being, you know, Doug Crankle as an actual name. So I don't know. It's just speculation. Could be Randy, you know, the hotel owner, or it just could be, you know, a random ghost. I would lean on the side of it being a random ghost. We have one President Mater. This is another one that made its debut in the last case, making that last case more special, but it is nice that it is returning. We have one Fillmore, one Dynaco Cruz Ramirez, two re-releases. I think Cruz Ramirez is pretty disappointing, unless, however, it's like the new version from Cars on the Road, but it says it's Dynaco Cruz Ramirez, so probably not. Baby Quadra Torquesar is back. Really happy about this one because, of course, he debuted in the first case of 2023 Color Changers with Cave Lightning McQueen back in the fall of 2022. I never, ever found that case in a store, so I'm sure a lot of people feel the same way, and this will give them a second chance to get that baby quad. So that leaves one car in this case being the only new Color Changer Cryptid Buster Lightning McQueen. Now we all know we got a reveal of the diecast version of this exact variant. I can't say what case that is in yet, but we do know that is coming. So who knows? Will the color changer version beat the diecast version? It's actually pretty funny to think about. And it doesn't really matter, you know, at least, you know, we know we're getting both. I'm sure we'll get diecast versions of President Mater, whatever the ghost car is, probably even the baby Quadratorcasar. So there you guys have it. Let me know in the comment section below, what are your thoughts on this case? Obviously not as good as the last case that gave us four new color changers in ghost car, President Mater. Doug Crankle, of course, the zombie car, and Sarge, kind of a subtle one in there. I would not be surprised if in the next case of Color Changers, Doug Crankle returns. That will be case S, scheduled for July 1st of 2023, meaning I will be able to reveal it on May 1st. The final case of Color Changers for the year is case T, scheduled for September 1st of 2023, meaning I'll be able to reveal that on July 1st. All right, guys, thank you as always for watching. Hope you enjoyed this short, sexy little reveal. I'll see you guys soon for another one. Bye now.